What's going on, everybody? BC Gamer here, talking to you guys about Nintendo, the good and the bad, and the ugly. The good, Nintendo Smash Brothers, sitting at around 93 Metacritic. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of the year, and uh, it's too late for it to be considered game of the year, unfortunately, but I think it definitely would be a contender. Very, very fun game. Unfortunately, the bad is... Uh, <laughs> Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs for the Nintendo Wii U has basically sold six copies. I don't know what's going on. Five copies. Watch Dogs is doing really bad on the Nintendo Wii U, which to me is kind of understandable. It seems like it's a pretty no-brain idea that Watch Dogs wouldn't sell that well on, on the Wii U, considering the game came out uh, closer to the beginning of the year on the Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, and the PS3. It's an older game. Now, uh... <laughs> Basically, the game charted number 13 or 14 behind everything else. I mean, I think FIFA 13 even outsold Watch Dogs on the Wii U. And it's kind of a sad thing to, to see. You know, you get a third-party exclusive or a third-party game, a AAA third-party game like Watch Dogs coming out. And basically, you know, only the people at GameStop buy it. I don't know what's going on, but it, it is the case. And even big third-party exclusives like Bayonetta 2, which is nominated Game of the Year, only sells 320 or 30,000 copies. Now, that's sad. It really is because of there there's 7 million people out in the world with Wii U's and uh you only moving 300,000 copies of Bayonetta 2 and it's kind of a sad thing because the hardcore Wii U owner is not supporting that game. But I got a few ideas on what's going on here and probably what needs to change. Uh let's just go on to Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is pretty simple to me. Watch Dogs came out over six months ago on every other console, and uh, it came out to mediocre reviews. A lot of people who bought the game uh, regretted it, and uh, I didn't pick up the game because I, I'm not that into Grand Theft Auto, and it felt like a new take on Grand Theft Auto. But a lot of people who bought the game initially did not weren't really excited about it, and uh, so the people on the Wii U who only own a Wii U probably are still feeling that that burn of what happened when the game was originally released and a lot of people didn't like it and so a lot of people either watch let's plays or played it on another console and are probably not that excited about picking it up even though the wii u version does have some new features you can play on your gamepad you got an on-screen map and all this stuff the game is old it's an old game so it's not going to sell like something new unfortunately which is going to make a lot of third-party uh... developers uh, say, hey, look, uh, we're not going to put anything else on the Wii U, which is really kind of sad. We use a pretty good system, but they just don't have any support at this point. Games like Bayonetta, on the other hand, 300,000 sold. Nintendo fans are usually younger people or people who buy games that their children can play without worrying about teen or mature tits and ass in your face. Most people who play Nintendo games don't expect that. And so... Uh, you know, there are lots of young people who play Mario Kart and play, you know, Mario Party and Smash and Donkey Kong and all these games on Nintendo platforms who really aren't in the ecosystem of Bayonetta. Bayonetta sold 325, 30,000 copies, probably to hardcore Bayonetta fans. These people who really wanted to see Part 2 or the continuation of the story. But a majority of Nintendo fans probably aren't in that ecosystem of seeing this girl running around doing super moves and her nether yeah pops out every five seconds so that's the thing it's just not that game for nintendo platforms unfortunately even though the game is awesome nintendo gamers probably aren't used to that kind of ecosystem you guys let me know what you think what does nintendo need to do to turn this whole thing around new hardware repair uh relationships with third-party devs let me know in the comments below as always thanks for watching guys Hit that like, subscribe if you're new on the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.